Greetings and welcome back to a special edition of Itadakimas. I'm Luke. And I'm Tyler. And today we're trying some snacks <laughs> from Japan. Our first one is some sort of puffed cracker. And who picked this out? I think you did actually. Yeah. yeah. Why did I pick this one out? Because I picked all the rest of them. Yes. <laughs> and I just grabbed something off the shelf. Didn't even look at it. It's true. Um, well. It smells kind of sweet. It does have a sweet smell, yeah. I thought it'd be but like uh, a, salty. But uh, like, a, like a baked smell too, so. But, uh, All right, shall we try it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Eat the Dr. Boss. Mmm. <laughs> it's very crunchy. So it's a big, like puffed rice cracker. It does have a sweet kind of a taste to it, but also like a like a baked taste. I don't know how to describe that. I don't know how to. Just, yeah, it's just that's good. Whatever it is. What do these remind me of Tyler. Mmm. They remind me of something. But I've been drinking. So would you uh, would you recommend it? Would I recommend it? Um. I mean, it's really good. I mean, I, I definitely would recommend it. I would eat it again. I would. Yeah. I don't know if I would ever buy it again. I definitely would. These are definitely good, uh, like, snacks for, for, you know, if you're drinking with your friends or something, you'd find at the bar, maybe. It's a ricey kind of snack. Yeah. So, like, like a chip. Yeah, like a chip, yeah. So, thumbs up? Thumbs up! So, uh, so what would we get next, Tyler? Well, next we have a... Kit Kat bar, like a little fun sized one, uh, that's supposed to taste like uh, apple pie. And it's like a, got an Easter theme wrapping. It smells really good though. Yeah, it does have a. It has almost like a peach kind of yeah, smell to it. it does. <clears throat> like it smells when we, peachy. When we looked at the bag, um, it looked like apple it, pie. It looked like maybe it won't be. Or it could have been like, a, like peach cobbler or something, but uh, yeah. <laughs> to talk to <laughs> Cheers. It didn't taste like either to me. It just it tastes just like a like a vanilla kind of Kit Kat bar. I think it's supposed to be a peachy thing. Maybe. I think we were wrong on the apple pie. Well, they said it was. Uh, it, it shouldn't be hard for us to tell what peach cobbler and apple pie looks like, but it was very deceiving on there. So, I mean, the, the first um, initial look at the bag, yeah, it definitely kind of looked like apple pie, but then I got a closer look at it and I was like, eh, peach cobbler. Oh, apparently it says apple pie. According to Chad. According to, you know, our reliable Who is refusing to be a part of this video, I might add. But, neither here or there, of course. I like it. It's not my favorite Kit Kat. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say I'd say the same. That's I mean, it was interesting to try. So. I think I prefer the green tea ones. I haven't had the green tea ones yet. That was one I was kind of looking at getting to. They're right next to each other, but oh well. Yeah, I still give it a thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up as well. So. This is the other one I picked out. Yes, this is the other but one. But I actually looked at it first. Because I like mochi. And see, I believe this is the first time I've had mochi. Yeah. In this I, form, anyways. So. I've had it as like ice cream before. I remember them being so there. I'm thinking mine's a green tea mochi kind of flavor. Yours, I don't know, plum? I, you know, I'm not even sure. You picked it. Um, I did. I was thinking maybe a. A chocolate was icing, and I'm gonna chocolate. definitely say it's not. It's not chocolate. So, shall we try it? Sure. <laughs> Eat the <Eat> <laughs> It's a big old mound of bean paste. <laughs> what are your feelings on bean paste? I don't mind it. Uh, I don't ever think I've had it in this amount. Uh, you know, uh, this quantity. Spartacus so. is very interested in it. What What about yours? Is it green tea? Yeah. But it also has the green paste. The, the, the bean, bean paste, paste. Yeah. Mm. I've been drinking. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely 
It's not bad. Mm, that's good. I don't know what the um, the rest of that flavor is. It has a sweet taste to it, which is nice because it helps with the over amount of bean paste in this one. <laughs> but what I what I recommend this. Um, if you like bean paste, or if you, or I wouldn't say adventurous, because this isn't something that's like it's everywhere hardcore or something that's you know off the grid that you know nobody's had kind of thing, and you have to try it. But if you want to try it, yeah, if not, keep on trucking. So thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm giving it the meh. The meh. The, I'm giving it the the you know okay. for this one. I, I I don't know much about that one, but you want to try it. Sure, why not? You can have a piece of this one if you like. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> that just happened. I give a thumbs up to that one. Mine is probably better. That's why I went with the green one for me. I see what you did there. Yeah. Mm. I planned this. Just like everything. <laughs> and we all always know what he says about a plan. He loves it when a plan comes together. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so I give it a thumbs up. Chad is giving me the finger. <laughs> not just <laughs> not not the finger, but the you know the thumbs up or thumbs down finger. Sure. Anyways, the the next uh, one that we picked is one of my favorites. Uh, so you've already had this. I have. Cheater. No. Well, you know this is this was years ago, so it's not like you know we knew that this was going to be a thing. So. <laughs> but um, I got these. Um, just a little after I met you guys on Guam at the California Mart. Okay. I love these things. These things are good, definitely good for drinking because you can just snack on them. But they're mm -hmm. kind of for any occasion, really. It's not necessarily with drinking. What so. are they? Excuse me. They are uh, little asparagus sticks, but okay. they have a good taste to them. It's kind of more what of a cookie. What if you don't like the taste of asparagus? I do not. It doesn't really taste like asparagus. I don't know why they say that on there. It's just. Kind of, Okay. Kind of misleading, to be honest, but yeah. So it's got, uh, it's got you know, another baked smell, kind of. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah. So, eat the documents. Eat the documents. Actually, I really like these. I could. Yeah, they're good. I can eat them. For... Tastes like a pretzel, but kind of sweet. Mm hmm. It's got like the saltiness, uh, kind of thing, and then. And then almost like an animal cracker kind of a sweetness no. to it. No. So, yeah, I like them. Yeah, I don't like asparagus, but I like these. Like I said, they don't even taste like asparagus. Like, there's not, I, I don't know why it says that on there, but um, I was adventurous enough to try them when I, when I saw them, so. Because mm -hmm. I do like asparagus. Asparag uh, asparagus is good, so. Would you recommend them? Yes, I would recommend them. I, I too would recommend them. I, yeah, I've never seen them anywhere in the States, so if you can get your hands on some of them, then, you know, one up to you, but I definitely think you'd have to travel outside the country to get these, so. But I'm gonna definitely bring some of these back, so. What did you think of everything we tried today? It was all good. The, the mochi, uh, well, I really might have wasn't mochi, it was a big ball of bean paste. <laughs> Um, other than that one, you know, even still eating, it was it was good. But the, all the rest of them were, were good, all, all four of them. Okay. Um, so yeah. All right. Well, thank you for watching another episode of Ita Dakimas. I'm Luke, and I'm Tyler. Sayonara. And we're the Power Twins. Sayonara. <laughs> <laughs>